on the Chelsea Handler. I think uh, Miss Chelsea Handler needs to get a better handle on the English language. Because, you know, she's out here talking and she's she's shitting on men, which if that's what she wants to do, have at it, Chelsea. Huh? Who am I to tell you no? But I think that in her attempt to to right the wrongs of this misogynistic uh, culture, I think she's hurting herself more than she's helping herself. But I'm a black man, so don't ever ask me to try to understand what goes on in a white woman's head because I I can't, I I can't. I'm I'm, I'm trying here, you know. I'm taking the comments, you know. I'm taking some some monologues I heard from Jimmy Kimmel's show, and I'm trying to like formulate it, formulate it, form you laid it into to some coherent thoughts that I have on it. But what? Here we go. Chelsea Handler is determined to make her return to late night TV following her week-long hosting gig on ABC's Jimmy Kimmel Live. In a chat with Variety, the 47-year-old who previously fronted Chelsea Lately on E! and Netflix short-lived Chelsea admitted that she's keen on hosting her own show again because she has some very strong and loud opinions to share. Hey, I support that. You go share your strong, loud opinions wherever they want to be heard. Especially during a time like this, it's nice for a lot of people to have a female voice out there, which I totally agree. The New Jersey Native Express. During her monologue on Kimmel, Chelsea touched on a handful of serious matters, including the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade and, of course, Ghislaine Maxwell and R. Kelly's prison sentencing. It's so important to be represented and to be representing women and to remind people why it's so important to be loud and to be strong and to be in, I don't know about it, indefatigable. Wow, I can't pronounce that word. I apologize. That's it. There's really nobody that can experience what it's like to be a woman other than one of us. So having everybody else's comment on that, white men's opinions are pretty irrelevant. Okay, you know what? I'm sick and tired of living in a society where people who do not come from uh, uh, that background, who have not lived that experience, can't have an opinion on someone from that experience. They could be wrong, but they deserve to talk about it. I come on here and talk about the media and how they don't understand uh, a lot of black culture and they get it wrong. But guess what? They deserve to put their perspective out there because their perspective is an actual valid perspective. And see, if we start silencing perspectives, we're not going to get to the meeting point that we need to get to where, where people start to, to find happiness in their roles that they have here in society. So for one to say that white men's Opinions are irrelevant. That's just not true. Now, granted, the headline is more uh, is more salacious than the actual quote itself, which we know that's what happens. But that's just not true. And to try to paint it as as true it just doesn't injustice, you know, because you take those comments and you take some of the stuff that she said, like she talked about some different species uh, of animals who have become asexual. And she was like, "Man, we can get rid of you. Come on, man. You you talk about your one night stands two 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 lines ago. So you really want to get rid of, rid of men? I mean, I get you don't want to have kids, but you still want to get your head knocked off, don't you? And I mean, by head knocked off, it's, it's, it's sexual, it's sexual, not like getting beat up. No, I don't support men beating up women. I don't support violence. But you want you 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 trying to have sex, right? You trying to get you trying to get yeah. You want that? All right, then. Then you need some men because yeah, you 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 sex." You have sex to, to 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 nut. You don't have sex to to give birth. So yeah, you need a man to do that. Okay. And I was talking to the wife, right? I go, you listen to some of those things she said. If you came home echoing those same things, what is the conversation like at home? Is that a conversation that makes men want to listen to what you have to say, and then go, wow. I need to rethink my my values so that I can be more understanding and more encompassing of yours. He's like, probably not. I go, exactly. 
It's like when you tell me that you get all these unwanted advances from men and it really from men and it sucks when you have to go places, especially by yourself. And I received it. I didn't realize it was as bad as it was, but then you made it like very clear to him. And I go, oh, wow. And you point it and she pointed out examples. And I go, oh, that makes sense. But I was like, if you would have been like, hey, you need to treat me better because there's so many men out here that want me and you should be happy that I chose you. Whoa, <sighs> baby. I'm not hearing. I'm not hearing. I'm not going to receive that you get unwanted advances all the time that same way. And maybe what Chelsea Handler was doing was for the Internet. Maybe what she was doing was for TV. Maybe she was doing what she was doing so people like me would come out here and talk about it. But if she's actually trying to advance the conversation, I think she's going about it the wrong way. And I'm not one to come on here and just defend white men. (laughs) But telling somebody that their, their opinion is irrelevant when you're talking about a societal issue that's not a, 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 a niche issue, I'm talking about like a societal issue, is just wrong. Because even if their uh, opinion is wrong, if their perspective is wrong, you can call it wrong. Call it wrong all day, but don't call it irrelevant because it is relevant because that means it exists. And if it exists, you need to understand that it exists. So when you're trying to advance where you're going, you know where the people who think different from you, from you land. That's like me saying, hey, you racist son of a bitch, your opinion is irrelevant. No, it's not. <coughs> it's very relevant if I am trying to get this person to change the way that he or she believes so that I can get equal rights. So I think Chelsea Handler needs to get a better handle of the English language and use her words properly. She could say, I don't accept the opinions of white men when when speaking on women's issues. I go, got it. I think we need more women to speak on our own issues so that we can properly uh, contextualize what women need. Got it. But if you can't look at yourself and you can't look at other women and say, you know what? We as women don't have the same beliefs. And there are some women, and she talked about them a little bit, how she can stand women who are like anti-woman. Well, you don't get to create the standard for what a woman is. You know, I am so sick and tired of people trying to create a standard of, of what it is to be a woman, what it is to be a man, what it is to be black. And not, let me stop, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I mean, culturally. I mean, like, if if you are a woman, you are a woman, okay. But another woman can't tell you you are more or less of a woman because of how you think and how you act. Just like I can't tell somebody that they're more or less black. From what they think or what they act. Now I could tell them that their actions are not in line with what I deem best for black culture. But I can't tell them that they aren't black if they meet the qualities of being black. And if we're going to be more specific, let's talk about black American, right? I can't tell somebody who is uh, an African descendant of slaves born in America. Hey, bro, you don't get just because you like this and that, you're not black American. No, you are different perspective, different point of view, but you're still a black American. And I can't even tell somebody who's not an African descendant of slaves, somebody who may be first or second generation over here who has my same skin color that, Hey, you ain't black. I can't tell them that. I want to. Not because I don't accept them for who they are. It's just that, hey, we come, we have different cultures. We come from something different. You know, we, 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 we have the same skin color, but we don't have the same lived experience. And I think that's important. I do. But Chelsea, use your words better. If you're fighting for equality for all women in this country and all people or marginalized in this country, I can get behind you. But if you are 
what are those supremacists who's masquerading as an equalist? You can go right there with the rest of the oppressors. We fall in big babies. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. 